Hi, I'm Melissa. I work as the coordinator of technical services at a Relay Public Library. Uh, mostly, I get to work with all the new materials that come into the library. I receive them, I invoice them, and I catalog them. But I also have a few other tasks at the library. My background actually is in fine arts, so I get to work with the library's very impressive permanent art collection. I try to do some research on what we have. I offer about three or four tours throughout the year of some of the more notable works. Um, and I thought, since we're all working from home, now might be a really good opportunity to put together a little mini-series for you um, so that I can share with you what we have right here from home. So, this is it. Welcome to Episode 1 of OPL's Art at Home. Elizabeth Winwood was born in Aurelia and attended the Ontario College of Art where she studied under group of seven artists Arthur Lismer and J.E.H. MacDonald, as well as under sculptor Emmanuel Hahn. Winwood also attended the Art Students League in New York where she studied stone carving. Her many awards include 10 scholarships while she was at OCA and the Governor General's Medal in 1924. Her work is represented in the National Gallery of Canada in Ottawa. In 1964, Wynne Wood modeled the first Canadian model to the memory of the late President Kennedy. She even designed her own home in Willowdale with a studio containing glass domes and a 20-foot high ceiling. When you walk into the main floor of the library and head towards the stairs, you'll see this dapper fellow greeting you next to the elevators. This is Charles H. Hale, a bronze bust created by Elizabeth Wynne Wood. This piece was gifted to the library in 1975 by Charles Hale's sister, Miss Dorothy Hale. Charles Harold Hale was born in 1874. He was publisher of the Aurelia Packet, which was founded by his father and uncle. Hale was an esteemed council member and served on the first Aurelia Water, Light and Power Commission. Under Hale's leadership, the Aurelia Power Scheme of 1898 lit up Aurelia before Ontario Hydro became anywhere near current. He also introduced daylight savings time to the city. I think you'll agree that Wynwood captured an excellent likeness of Hale. As you move up the stairs and through the mezzanine, you'll come across the second very impressive bronze bust by Elizabeth Wynwood. This is a piece of Stephen Leacock. Born in 1869, Stephen Butler Leacock was a Canadian teacher, political scientist, writer, and humorist. Between the years of 1915 and 1925, he was the best-known English-speaking humorist in the world. He's known for his light humor along with criticisms of people's follies. During the summer months, Leacock lived at Old Brewery Bay, his summer estate in Aurelia, across Lake Simcoe where he was raised and also boarding Lake Kuchiching. A working farm, Old Brewery Bay is now a museum and National Historic Site of Canada. Gossip, provided by the local barber Jefferson Short, provided Leacock with the material which would become sunshine sketches of a little town, set in the thinly disguised Mariposa. In 1926, Elizabeth Winwood married her former sculpture teacher, Emmanuel Hahn. Emmanuel Hahn was a renowned artist, sculptor, and designer of coins and stamps. Born in Germany, Hahn came to Canada in 1888 and was educated at the Central Ontario School of Art and Design. He retired from his position as the head of the Department of Sculpture at the Ontario College of Art in 1951. This piece is a bust of Elizabeth Wynne Wood, created by Emmanuel Hahn. It's dated 1966 and it's made from Carrera marble, a truly beautiful and delicate material. This beautiful likeness truly captures the spirit of Elizabeth Wynne Wood. Well, there you have it, our first episode of OPL's Art at Home. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to leave feedback or questions uh, in the comment section below. I'm sure I can get back to you and answer any questions you have. Also, if you have anything to share about the collection, uh, a lot of people's histories are connected to these artists, uh, especially because a lot of the artists that we're looking at through this series are local. So I'm definitely interested in any anecdotes or further stories that you might have to share. I hope you'll keep following along and please uh, share this video and tell all your friends and family to follow OPL on our social media and I'll see you next time.